Hello and welcome to another episode of YOLO, the show where I only live once. Today we're taking a look at Skyflower, a game I reviewed late last week. This is a mix between a traditional dungeon crawler and a dual stick shooter, but this game has some problems, as I'll address when we get into the gameplay. Let's see how far I can get using nothing more than a single life. Right off the bat, we're given a choice between three characters, each with a different secondary attack. I'm a big fan of the girl on the side here, since she can become invincible for a short amount of time. So let's go ahead and choose her and jump right in. Alright, here we go. Now, if you've played Gauntlet and a, a dual stick shooter, then this is basically the marriage of the two. Uh, and for a lot of this video, it's going to look like a ton of fun. Um, but I want you to remember, and this is key, I want you to remember that this is a dual stick shooter that does not use an analog stick. Uh, you have to use the keyboard and mouse. There is no uh, gamepad support, no joystick support, nothing. So, anyway, basically what we're doing here is we're, we're uh, running from, from one dungeon to the next dungeon. They're just these small little levels. You can see the, the exit up there. Uh, that's the, the purple thing. And we're trying to kill all of the, the enemies and then collect as much money and points as, as we can. Now, we can, we can use that key to open up this door and defeat this little mini boss. Which this guy's not too bad. Alright, now you see that, that cross over there, if we can go down there and we can use our secondary attack and that would refill all of our life, but of course I didn't lose any life in this level, so maybe the next level we'll use that. Alright, ah, uh, yeah, this is one of the, the types of levels I really dislike because it's, it's not very wide and open, there's a lot of blocks getting in the way and it can be difficult to navigate. Uh, this is probably the this is one of the easier versions of this style of, of map, but they get real hectic and they're not much fun. Not that the, the regular levels were, were much fun. I actually, if you didn't watch my original review, I didn't like this game very much, and it, it, it mostly hinges on the fact that you can't use a controller. It is a big deal that that I had to use the uh, the keyboard and mouse. That is just not much fun. All this stuff here. Uh, all these levels are procedurally generated, so they change every time. The bosses, on the other hand, uh, they stay the same. There's a lot of progression that stays the same. But there are some cool items that you can pick up that uh, every every time I play this, I see different items I've, I've never seen before. But they, they aren't that cool. They, they don't do enough. Let's kill all these guys over here, and then we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll use that, uh, that cross and we'll gain our, our life back. You're going to see a lot of the same types of enemies, but that's par for the course, I suppose. Alright, now we use it, get our life back, and that's, that's real handy, but you can only use it once, uh, at least once per level. And almost every level has one. I don't think the boss levels do, but that's about it. Now again, I want to remind you that I'm using the mouse and keyboard, and that is not the best way to control a dual stick shooter. I often, I always thought that like the, the PSP and Dreamcast and, and the Super NES, where you, you had to use a D-pad or an, one analog stick and then the face buttons. I always thought that was the worst way, but this turns out to be, to be even worse. This is not the way you want to play any dual stick shooter. Oh. Gets hectic. These are these are still the, the, the easy levels. Oh. If you blow up the barrels, you'll see that they have different effects. Um, sometimes they'll explode into a, diff a bunch of different shards. Other times they'll leave items. Now we can use the money, you see there, we can use the money that we're, we're collecting uh, to pick up items, but I don't see anything for sale yet. Maybe that'll come later on. Grab that health, kill the bad guy, pick up the rice. What's the rice do? Alright, more shots. Okay. I think this is going to be the, 
think this is the boss level, right? Yeah. Here we go. We're at the, the boss level now, and boy, that, that more shots is gonna come in real handy, because we can take this guy down real quick. Oh, yeah, I think we got him. Oh, man, that was, that was quick. I didn't even have a chance to use my secondary attack, which with this character is brief invulnerability. Okay, you see how I have two options there? I, I can't even read them. I don't have time because it doesn't pause the game. Like, it jumps right into the action, and suddenly everybody's shooting at me, and I... I uh, terrible design. I hope that gets that gets fixed eventually. See, I already got hit a bunch of times, so I had to use the shrine, so... Hopefully... Oh, Christ. There's no place to hide in this part. Let's go up here. Get a brief respite. Okay. At least we have some different music to listen to. Still nothing to buy, but a lot of money to pick up. Some new enemies to shoot. What was that? Like balloons or something? Okay. Looks like the, the worst part's behind us. I hope. Is this just a dead end over here? Yeah, okay. I guess we'll grab that health. I didn't really need it. Okay. With that cleared out, I don't even know what I picked up. That's the problem. It, it needs to pause it or, or do it during a load screen or something like that. Because, oh, let's let's deal with this mini boss. Oh, what's this guy? This guy seems pretty easy. There's more, that more shot thing. That, that's... That's a good power up. That rice. That's good. You have to remember that. Rice is good for you, I think. I don't know. Don't tell me if it's not, because I eat a lot of rice. Pick up that key. And another one where there's nothing to hide behind. No cover. Oh, that was a terrible spot. Oh no, this is horrible. I need to go find that shrine. Where is that? Oh, there's some life. Grab that, okay. That should be- Oh, no! No, no, oh. Okay. Well. Well, this is likely the last time I play Skyflower until it gets proper gamepad support. It's simply too difficult to play a dual-stick shooter effectively using a mouse and keyboard. It just shouldn't be done. Anyway, I'm currently hard at work on a bunch of new reviews, including Deception 4, The Nightmare Princess and Way of the Samurai 4 on Steam. And don't forget to check out our other recent episode of YOLO, which had me trying out Zenza Zenzik, a much better dual stick shooter. I suggest you hit the subscribe button and support what we're doing here. We have a lot of cool videos coming up, and just like Aerosmith, you don't want to miss a thing. Until then, 